In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take those free stock images that I shared with all the different scenario layouts and use those to create a reusable template that you can use uh, when you want to kind of, kind of like a scenario starter pack in a sense. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. So let's say I've got a scenario here, right? And I want to have a starter pack using all those different layouts. I don't have to build it once and then I can reuse it. So for example, you can see I've got this scenario, but I can create layouts and quickly change uh, the environment uh, for my character, right? So let me show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. So we're going to start with a blank storyline file. Now the first thing we want to look at is uh, the slide. So this slide by default is a 4-3 aspect ratio. That means it's 4 units this way and 3 units this way. The images I gave you are 16 by 9. If I insert an image, one of those pictures that I gave you here, let's just insert it. Um, this is 16 by 9, this is 4 by 3. So to get it to work on the slide, I'm going to have to you know, drag it and set it. And I don't want to have to do all that stuff. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the slide size is the same as the image size. 16 by 9 is a standard size. So we're going to go to the Design tab. You go to Story Size. And we're going to choose 16 by 9. You know, the resolution doesn't really matter. You can make it any resolution, but 16 by 9 is what we want. So we're going to hit OK. And now you can see it's wide and it's going to fit those images. So now what we want to do is go into the Slide Master. And that's just a matter of going to View and Slide Master. And you can see we have the blank layout here. We're going to go ahead and hit Control D. That duplicates it. And then on this slide here, what we're going to do is insert one of those pictures. So we're going to insert, picture, and you can see I've got a number of images in here. We'll just insert a couple of them. So we'll do this one here. And um, what I like to do is name those. So I'm going to right click on that blank slide and we're going to rename the layout. And we'll just call this Reception uh, 1. So there may be multiple. So I always start with the number because you never know if you're going to have a second one. And let's go ahead and do this again. We're going to Control D on the slide, so that duplicates it. Now we're going to come back to the image. Let's right click. Let's just change the picture. And we're going to choose um, conference room here. So we'll insert that. And we're going to rename this one uh, conference room one. Oops. Okay, and we'll do one more. So we're going to do the same thing. Control D, select the image, right click, change picture. And now you'll notice that on those 15, 16 photos in here, you could do this for every single image. It's just all the images are available to you then. You don't have to go dig around in the folders. We'll grab this one here. And we'll rename this one Meeting Room. All right, one. Okay. So if you have 14 images, you can do 14 layouts, 20 images, 20 layouts. And then they're all there. And then what's nice about this, once we save it as a template, you just have one file. You start with that. And then you don't need to go dig around and find your images and you can quickly swap out your layouts. And so let's go ahead and close out our slide master. So if I'm working on a slide and I have a character and whatnot and I want to build out a scenario, I just go to Apply Layout and I've got this one here. And then if I want to create a new slide, maybe I want to start in a new scene. So we're going to do basic layouts. And maybe we start in the meeting room. So you can see how quickly that works. And if I decide I don't want to use the meeting room, I go to Apply Layouts. And you can see I have you know 20 or 30 images in here. And I can just choose the one I want to use. I don't have to use all those other layouts, but I have access to the images. So kind of like bringing the images with me in the scenario. So let's go ahead and delete this one here. So we'll just keep one slide in there so visually we can see it. If you wanted to, you could have you know, if you have 20 images, you can have 20 slides and each image has a different layout. So that works. What we're going to do here is we're going to save this as a template file so that it's reusable. So we're going to go to File, Save As. And now you have the option to save as a story file. We're going to save this as, we'll call it scen Scenario 1. And we're going to save it as a storyline template. So now when I save it as a storyline template, it's a template file. So what's going to happen is, uh, let's say um, I want to insert files from a template, or if I'm starting with a new course, I can start with a template. But if I go into my Slides option, you can see when I click on My Templates, 
there's my scenario. So I've got this template. I can have multiple scenarios. So there's my scenario. So I can insert that. We'll actually start it from a blank slide just to see what it looks like. So let me go pause everything. We'll set up a blank slide. All right. So let's go to my blank slide I just set up. So we've got a blank slide here. And this is just, there's nothing here. So if we go into our slide master, so view slide master, you can see it's just a regular file, right? So this is how you're going to start. So make sure you have the stories file set up, the size set up right. And let's go ahead and go to slides. My templates, there's my scenario slide. I'm going to import that. And now what's cool is if I go to my slide master, you can see that you know, I've got my template, but that brought in all of my layouts. I'd have all the different layouts in here. So if I want to use, change out my layouts and say, okay, I want to use this layout for my slide, you can see how that works. So really easy to work with these. Um, build as many layouts as you want, insert the images, uh, save it as a template, and then you have that. If you're on an Articulate 360 account, you can use the Teams accounts too, right? Because if you go to slides, you have the option of, doing team slides. And so you could share this project. So if you build out your scenarios, you can share the project and then make that available to your entire team. Hopefully that helps and it's something that you can use. I look forward to seeing scenarios that people build uh, with these images.